what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so I wanted to do a quick off the cuff down and dirty for you and it has to do with this right here on my forehead sweat um, a lot of you guys watch my channel because you either want to get into the industry or you're new to the industry and haven't spent a lot of time in it I talk back and forth with a lot of you guys through messages or through uh, comments on Facebook or YouTube and one thing that I cannot stress enough in this industry is you're never too good for the shovel you're never too good to sweat a lot of us got into this industry and I'm not even calling out young guys because it's the exact same reason I like this industry it's a it's a tough manly man's world industry I mean this is you, you get out here with heavy equipment with big machines and you're you're on job sites and you know that's exciting and that's great and a lot of guys get all hyped about that but as soon as that shovel comes out all of a sudden you know they're not so excited about it and I can't tell you this enough it doesn't matter if you've been in this industry for a day or you've been in this industry for 20 years you're never too good for the shovel you're never too good to sweat now as an old timer have you earned your place not being on the end of the shovel all the time absolutely 100 percent but when the time requires it you're not too good for the shovel i really want to convey this to the younger crowd i've had a couple of you guys that i've talked to about spending time on the shovel really learning you know honing your craft that's that's something that I haven't said too many times on my channel, but I have said it quite a few times in conversations with guys is, what I really enjoy about this industry is you never stop growing, you're constantly honing your craft. And part of honing that craft, especially early on guys, is being on the end of a shovel. And I know you hate to hear that, I hated to hear it as a young man too, but that's just part of it. You've gotta learn the basics because you never go beyond the basics. There's a reason I'm walking around out of breath right now. Because I've been over here with a come along leveling that pad by myself because the guy that's helping me had to run for for some batteries because our laser quit he's my laborer for today but it doesn't matter that I'm the operator and he's a laborer if he needs me on the end of a shovel I'm not too good for that I get down off the machine and I start working a shovel it needs to be the same for everybody else in this industry that was one thing that drove me nuts when I was in the union, and I'm not calling union guys out specifically. This is really just old guys versus young guys, you know, type deal. But it used to drive me nuts when you'd have someone sit on their piece of equipment and just watch while the job shut down because their labor had to run to the other end of the job to grab something. Get your ass out the seat and use a shovel. You can help out, you can pitch in. We're never above the shovel. So get out there, work up a healthy sweat. It feels good. At the end of the day, it feels good. It's a good workout. You know, you got into this to be all manly. Flex them muscles, son. Get on the shovel. That's one thing about these young guys that cracks me up is they'll cry and throw a fit that they've got to spend all day on the end of a shovel, but then they turn around and go spend two hours in the gym after work. Guys, why don't you knock them out at the same time? Except that the shovel is a full body workout, man. You can't get a better workout than being on the end of a shovel. Accept that and roll with it and you're gonna hulk up and you're also gonna know what the heck you're doing on a job site after you spend a couple years, a year, somewhere in there on the end of a shovel because you've been on the ground, you've been doing all of the grunt work, you know exactly how the pipe goes together, you know exactly what a level trench looks like from down in the hole because you've been there, you spent time doing it, you know exactly how to hook a water line up or a sewer lead or you know exactly how to fit two pipe together down in the hole or you know when that excavator operator needs you to set the structure, how you need to go about it. All of that stuff is learned by being on the end of a shovel. And then down the road, if your top man all of a sudden has to go do something, and you've got a second, jump out of the machine and help out because you got the skills now. You've honed your craft. You know what you're doing. You're an expert, but it all comes from shovel time. So that's all I got for today. I just want to remind everyone, new guys, you're not too good for the shovel. Old guys, you're also, we also are not too good for the shovel. Everyone needs a shovel in this industry. It's part of it. As much as we love the heavy equipment, the shovel is a massive part of this. So get happy about it and let's go shovel some dirt. So I'm turning this camera off and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sweat my balls off some more. So you guys have a good one and we'll catch you on the next video.